Skin cancer knows no boundaries. It affects men and women, young and old. It cuts across ethnic and racial lines. Even using today's improved sunscreens and other preventative measures, skin cancer may still develop. Well, I'm not supposed to get cancer, you know. I, you know, I haven't done anything to get cancer, and then in the area that I got the cancer, you know, that's what raised the question. As long as I can remember, my mother always used to cover my sister and I with suntan lotion. We were twins, and she was almost obsessive about it. So that's why I was really shocked to hear that I had cancer, because here I thought I had taken all of the right precautions. I'm fairly young, and my sister hasn't gotten it. It was scary at first to learn about the skin cancer, because um, just the word cancer itself is very scary. Unfortunately, more and more people are being diagnosed with skin cancer. In fact, skin cancer is now the most common form of cancer, with over 1.3 million cases reported each year. It can affect anyone. Just being a 27-year-old and told that you have cancer is terrifying. I was in my early 30s when I first, with my first spot. So. To me, that was like, whoa, that's a little, little young. One method of skin cancer treatment stands out among others as the most effective treatment and cure, Mohs Micrographic Surgery. Mohs Surgery offers a cure rate of up to 99%, which is higher than any of the other treatments. Mohs Micrographic Surgery was first developed at the University of Wisconsin by Dr. Frederick Mohs in 1936. Since then, the technique has spread across the United States and internationally and has been refined to produce the impressive cure rates we see today. The American College of Mohs Surgery bears the name of its innovative founder. Mohs Surgery offers patients a treatment option unlike any other. This video will explain the Mohs Surgery procedure discuss why it is the most effective treatment, especially for high-risk areas, and provide you with information on what to expect before, during, and after the surgery. When I was first told I have skin cancer, um, initially you're terrified until um, the doctor explains what basal cell carcinoma is. Nobody wants to hear it. Nobody wants to hear that they have cancer. There are a number of treatment options for skin cancer including scraping, burning, freezing, radiation, excision, and the highly specialized technique of Mohs micrographic surgery. Initially I went to a, a student health at my university and uh, they recommended having a, a wide excision of this uh, mole. I really wasn't comfortable with this and asked for a second opinion and she immediately referred me to the Mohs surgery clinic. Members of the Mohs College are physicians who are specialists in dermatology and experienced in pathology and have undergone advanced training approved by the college, usually one to two years beyond their residency in this specific technique. They possess extensive knowledge of the skin, its ailments, and its healing process. In addition to reconstructive surgery to repair the wound following tumor removal, the Mohs surgeon often is qualified to perform many other dermatologic surgical procedures. Mohs micrographic surgery is a conservative, highly effective approach that methodically and accurately maps where the cancer cells are. Using the precision and accuracy of a microscope, the surgeon can trace the cancer right down to its roots and remove only the diseased tissue leaving as much healthy tissue as possible. Mohs surgery is an outpatient procedure that is usually performed using only local anesthesia. Once the patient is anesthetized, the visible tumor and additional tissue is surgically removed by the Mohs surgeon with an incision that creates a saucer-like layer of affected tissue. The area of the incision may be marked with small hatch marks to establish the orientation of the removed tissue. At this point, the wound will be dressed and the patient may be guided to a waiting or recovery area while the on-site laboratory examines the removed tissue 
to determine if all the cancer cells have in fact been removed. This is the part of the procedure that makes the Mohs technique so accurate and effective in removing all the cancer cells while leaving as many healthy cells as possible untouched. The removed tissue is divided into pie-shaped sections and a map is prepared showing the origin of each cut section in relation to the surgical wound so the sections can be oriented back to the site of the incision. The sections are then frozen and put on a microscope slide by a specially trained technician. The Mohs surgeon then inspects the tissue under the microscope. It is critical that the Mohs surgeon is also the pathologist reviewing the slides. This allows your Mohs surgeon to precisely pinpoint where the tumor is on your skin and remove only the cancerous tissue. If it is determined that additional tumor is present in any of the sections, the Mohs surgeon will return to the area or areas as designated in the mapping process and now remove additional tissue until no evidence of the tumor remains. Because of this detailed repetitive process, the Mohs procedure may take several hours or even longer. However, the time is well spent because the patient has the best chance of being cured. As you can see, the careful targeting of the tumor ensures the removal of all affected tissue while leaving the healthy tissue intact, resulting in faster healing times and less scarring. However, most important, it ensures low probability of the tumor returning. After the surgery is completed, the management of the wound will be addressed with the patient. The Mohs surgeon will usually perform the needed follow-up reconstruction or may refer the patient to another specialist. With Mohs surgery, the surgeon can offer the highest cure rate while minimizing the loss of tissue, thus offering the best opportunity for a good cosmetic result. I do believe that those that um, learn the technique of the Mohs surgery become marvelous surgeons uh, besides. Is Mohs surgery right for you? The most critical indications for Mohs surgery are tumors on the head and neck, especially around the eyes, ears, lips, and nose. Tumors that are recurrent or that have come back after previous treatment. Large and or ill-defined tumors, regardless of location. Aggressive tumors based on biopsy some rare or unusual tumors. How do you choose a Mohs surgeon? Look for the education and experience of members of the Mohs College who have undergone fellowship training in the procedure. To find a Mohs surgeon in your area, visit the Mohs College website at www.mohscollege.org or call 1-800-500-7224. We hope this program has answered many of your questions about Mohs surgery. If you have additional questions or concerns, your doctor will be happy to further explain the process. In telling people about the procedures and so on, um, we always, always recommend don't go to anyone else. Go to somewhere that they're doing the Mohs um, surgery. There's so many ideas out there on how to deal with skin cancer. I think everybody seems to have a story about it, but uh, I feel that the Mohs procedure is the most reliable and least invasive option for this kind of surgery, and uh, believe me, I checked.